Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Evan here once again. Uh, another project that we got going on today. Uh, we got a call about a condensate line um, here at a home in South Philly. Um, they have an old condensate line that apparently is backed up, jammed up, and it's not running well. It's causing the pump and the HVAC unit to shut off and not run well because of the backed up condensate. So uh, I got a call today, see if I can come help fix the uh, situation. And um, we're here doing it. Uh, we, uh, we're gonna open up some walls and we're gonna locate the uh, standpipe if there is one behind the wall, um, uh, you know, nothing else to do but just to, you know, open up the walls and, and find the nearest pipe. And if have to, you know, we'll cut a trap in with a backwater valve and do everything we have to do to uh, tie in and uh, get this condensate to run where it's supposed to run. Um, so that's our situation. That is. Uh, what this video is about today we're on a condensate line okay so as you can see here we opened up the wall okay we did some investigation we looked we saw where pipes were okay they got a bathroom around the other side you know they had a bathroom here we got a washer and dryer box what I did was I popped open the uh, access panel here and I took a look to see where the lines ran. And uh, there's a four inch line that's running off to the right of this box, okay? Which I take it that runs along in this washer box, comes off of that four inch line. And then it runs and it turns up somewhere and picks up the bathrooms which are stacked on top of each other in this house as it goes up. So as you can see, here we go, we found it. There's that four inch line I was talking about. Okay, it wound up coming all the way this way. And as you can see, there's the old condensate line, all dirty. And there is a standpipe behind the wall here. Okay, what we have here, what you can see, what happens to your condensate lines over time, is look at that. That's dirty. That's nasty. Okay, that bad boy, she's clogged down in there somewhere. Kinked, got a nice kink in it. Okay, we don't want to have that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this old condensate line, okay? And we're gonna, all new tubing, we're gonna come up, we're gonna run it along the wall. We're going to come up, we're going to snake it up here behind the uh, fresh air inlet and the exhaust line for the boiler that's mounted on the wall. Come back around, run it behind these studs, and dump it right back into this standpipe. Okay? And then we will be good to go. Okay, so... Finished product, we're all done, cleaned up. Okay, there we have our condensate pump that was already here existing. We have our new condensate line. Okay, we came up, ran along the wall. Okay, and up, up the wall, took back in, back behind the pipes to hide it. Okay, now this is the section that we opened up to get to the standpipe. Okay, but as you can see, we came across the top. Loop, loop. Boom. Back into our fixture waste. Okay. Now, as you can see from what I talked about on the last video, there you go. We have a check valve. Okay. This would be uh, what we are using as our backwater valve a backwater check valve okay there's a there's a swinging check valve in there with no spring on it 
no uh, no pressure behind it it just swings it's a free swinging check in there you can't have anything with pressure because the pressure that's going to be coming through this candle condensate line excuse me this condensate line it's only going to be trickling water there's going to be no pressure behind it and it's got to be able to push to open up that flapper and send water down into the house drain the main house drain going out to the street okay so the purpose of this the purpose of this back water valve okay is in case the main house drain ever backs up okay if it ever backed up and raw sewage was getting pushed back and people were using fixtures and you didn't know and the pipes kept filling up and filling up with raw sewage that check valve in there would stop the water and God knows what else is coming through those pipes would stop the water okay from coming back up and coming out of the open end fixture right there okay without that back water valve in there if there's ever if this main drain down here got clogged and started filling up it would just come right up and behind this wall you would have raw sewage spewing out of this pipe and you wouldn't even know it because it was going to be closed up solid okay you wouldn't know until it was coming out of the bottom and leaking out of every orifice on the floor underneath coming out from under the walls and that's not what you want so that's why i reiterate those are very important very very important save you from a big big headache and a lot of cleaning bills having to clean up sewage from flooding out your basement especially if it's a finished basement or any basement you don't want that so that right there is called a backwater valve with a free swinging check valve okay and that's it and another thing too i know i have this piped up close and it's you know a tight s trap but there's no pressure coming down and there's going to be no pressure coming down this line like i said it's going to be a slow trickle so there's no force or pressure that would come down and ever break the trap seal okay slow amounts of water slow trickles of water from the condensate pump are going to push down in here and that water is just going to just going to slowly roll over okay it's not like it's coming down a stack or something it's coming down and there's a lot of water coming and it, and it could it could the velocity could, could break the trap seal by pushing the water out it's just a small amount of, of water that's going to be trickling out of there so we're not worried about a trap seal breaking um, due to an S trap we just had to pipe it like that due to a uh, uh, space uh, being in a tight space confined space but other than that that's it we kept a small part of the wall kept everything clean you know all she's got to do is get somebody in here to patch this I know my cuts aren't 100% straight but I get a carpenter in here to straighten that all out but now she's good to go ES Van Ness Mechanical plumbing and heating <laughs>